Hello there lads and lasses, welcome to Bendy Neck Machine Chapter 3. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves, and uh, let's get started. Okay, Chapter 3, The Rise and Fall. Oh, in the last chapter we found uh, Boris, and today we found Boris again. So yeah, I've already played this chapter. Um, let's go ahead and fix this. There we go. Blah, blah, blah. What's up, Bixie? Is that Tolstoy? I don't know. Someone really needs to fix the flooding in this bathroom. Sploosh. Alright, let's go. There he is, there's Boris. But he's not what we're interested in right now. I'm not getting out of here that easy. He to open the door, but the lever is missing. Boris probably has it. Yeah, you have it, you cheeky git. It's like my favourite tune ever. It's awesome. Okay, hi Boris. Hey buddy, you seen that lever handle around? Or are you holding it hostage until I make you something to eat? I thought so. Let's see what we got. Right, I want to show you guys something. This is something weird that I noticed the first time I played this. Boris versus Henry. Now, it's almost as if we've been here for many, 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 many days, but that's not how this works. We've been here before several times, and I really don't think this is the first Boris. I think this is someone else. You see, I think their Boris over there has been trying to summon Bendy, but can't quite get him. You know, he doesn't have the right tools or the right artistic knowledge, so he's created something horrifying. So I don't know. I don't know, it's weird. Alright, okay, let's find the rest of this ship. That should be enough. I mean, he's got posters of Bendy. I'm still, I'm still saying, like, Bendy is not the bad guy. Bendy is not the bad guy in this. Even in this level, right, where Bendy chases you down, he only starts chasing you down when you start doing stuff for Alice Angel. Alice Angel has been the, the, primary, the primary bad guy in this whole thing. But then again, I still think Boris is a baddie. Those cuckoo classes I did came in handy. But Bendy's definitely not the bad guy. There you go, eat the soup. Eat the soup. Give me that. Thank you. And let's open that. Pull that down. And we're going to go and grab the bone. Alright, let's do this. Smart. Grab that and let's go. Come on, Boris. Don't be scared, Boris. I'll keep the light near you so you don't get lost. Yeah. You know for a fact he's going to get lost at some point. Well, another thing is, we are the same height as this bendy cardboard cutout. I would think as a human we would be slightly taller than it, so that's why I'm thinking we are actually bendy, because this is bendy and the ink machine, so I don't know. Alright, Boris, here you go, take the light, man. Off you go, you go do your thing. We're just waiting for Boris to do his thing. This is my least favourite chapter at the lot. So much toing and froing and froing and toing. There we go. Let me throw! Heavenly Toys. Wow. I don't remember any of this. Didn't that used to be a giant bendy? I'm not sure if that was a giant bendy or not. There's planes and everything. Planes, trains, and automobiles. The giant Boris. Let's get to the right shape and let's listen to Jack Septic Guy. I don't be seen with the big deal. So what if I went and painted some of those bendy dolls with a crooked smile? That's sure no reason for Mr. Drew to be flying off the handle at me. And if he really wants to be so helpful, he could be telling me what I'm to be doing with this warehouse I got full of that angel watch my call it. And a scrap of that mess be shut. They probably have to melt it all down to be rid of it. And there we have the reason for Alice Angel. Click, click. Oh, it won't work. We need to grab the toys. Make sure all the wheels are turning. Forest fires, crooked liars. Why am I so sullen and drained? In the vicious train. Lost man of his own. Has anyone thought to save him? Still not getting what the toolboxes are for. They must be for something. Alright, let's uh, shovel these doors over and let's get going. 
Okay, guys, guys. Okay, are you ready for this? This is the most terrifying thing ever, okay? I'm going to do my best not to jump and scream. I'm not being sarcastic, honestly. Okay, let's do this. Ready? Got them nice and close. Gasp, gasp, sorry, I've seen that before, so, you know, it's, it got me the first time, I'll admit it, it got me the first time. A new fly in my endless web. Come along. <laughs> Let's see if you're worthy to walk with angels. See if I'm worthy to walk with angels? How about see if the angels are worthy to walk with me, okay? Because I don't think they are. I really don't. And look, you're broke. You broke your lovely, lovely television set. How? Uh, I, I don't even know. I can't. I can't even bring myself to look at you, Alice Angel. Take the path of the angel, or the path of the demon. Hmm. Hmm. Don't like the angel. I'm going for the demon path. Of course, I'm going for the demon path. I really want to stand under that, but I can't because it's solid. Let's have a listen to this. It is a beautiful and positively silly thought. Isn't it me? Because I know I'm you. I know I'm you. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what these new sections are. Yes. Oh, Boris. Oh, gasp! <laughs> Boris. Oh, you scared me to death. I suppose you can do anything we can use to protect ourselves. Thank you for following. Alright, I'm going to take my gent pipe from Boris. I'm going to smack the barrel, get squirted with some ink, you know, as you do. <laughs> All right, Boris, bonk. I can hit Boris. I can hit Boris. I probably shouldn't hit Boris, but uh, yeah. I'm just. Okay, we're done. Yeah, I've, uh, poor Boris. Yeah, let's see what's gonna happen next. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Looks like to open this, we need to throw two levers at once. You get this one. Right, I'll Boris. Boris, you listening? Good. Yeah, there's my demon pal. There we go. Let's go get to this other one. Oh, new area. Okay, here we go. Work hard. Look happy. You tape. Alright, let's go over this again. If the pressure goes over 45, I screw the safety bolt in tight, right? No, for the last time you do that, you blow every pipe in this place. If it reaches 45, you unhook the safety switch. You sure? You know, this sounds harder than comparing earwax to beeswax. Look, it's not that difficult. Just keep an eye on the gauge. Look, pal. If you think I'm doing my job and yours, I'm out of here. Okay, so let's go. Let's uh, have a look around, see what this new area is like. Ooh. Bendy and the Hell Firefighter. Squirting ink. Hmm. Okay, what have we got here? Let's have a look. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Oh, there goes the ink machine again. Okay, that's three. 
floors that came down now. So I'm curious, I really want to see what's at the bottom of this place. The creator lied to us. Yes, he did. Alright. One of them, isn't that interesting? There's a balcony up there. I wonder if we're going to get up there at some point. Bendy statue. We'll get here. Feel familiar? That's uh, curious. Curiouser and curiouser. Alright, okay, moving on. It's time for the Poocher Gang! Time for Piper! Come on, Piper. Ready? You ready, guys? Ready for this? Boom! That hitbox, though. You hit me from so far away there. He goes, nothing but a puddle of goo now. <laughs> but he's. Can we get in there? Why was he hiding in there? Seems rather odd. Alright, Boris, shall we go? Hell in a handbasket. Although he's supposed to sort of depict what was actually going to happen in, in each chapter. But here's something else, like, the bendy, the gents here, it looks like someone really, really was absolutely bursting for the toilet or something and missed slightly. You know, bendy's still available there, but the Alice Angel one, the, the ladies, is, is covered completely. And someone's been quite artistic with it. Which begs the question. Why is the gents cleaner than the ladies? And I mean that in general. I don't know. You're so interesting. So different. I'm so different, so interesting. I have to say, I'm an instant fan. Looks like you've got a date with an angel. Who want a date with an angel? Level nine. Just follow the screen. I can't hear any screams. Can you hear any screams? Because I can't hear any screams. Where'd you go? Get, get back here without wiggle. Ooh, tape. Good advice, but uh, the elevator's a lot handier. Boris isn't terrified or anything, it's, it's bizarre. He just runs for it, you know? What the hell are they painting there as oh, a toy plane? I mean, look, he doesn't even look shocked at seeing the dead Borises. Snap out of it, Boris! Snap out of it! You're hysterical, man! Hysterical, I tell you! That booty. Look around. It took so many of them to make me so beautiful. That body sweat himself slightly. She made you. Weird thing is, is that ink is slightly translucent, so that's not ink, that's water. Now, why do you think that would be? Who would have thought? Me, having lunch with Joey Giroux. Apparently times are tougher than I thought. For a moment there, I thought I'd be stuck with the check. But I gotta say, he wasn't at all what I expected. Quite the charmer. He even called me Alice. I liked it. Susie Campbell, you strange, strange lady. I don't think we're really here. I think this whole area was not just the animation studio. I think that everything in here is where it was filmed. I, th I, I reckon at the end of this is going to be the fact that this, this whole thing has just been 
a cartoon that has been done, you know? Ooh! My gods! Thank you! Just cause D. Thank you very, very much for that, Rickaroo. Here we go, here she is. The Lady of the Hour. He's still alive. Look at that. It could have touched me. It could have pulled me back. Do you know what it's like living in the dark puddles? It's a buzzing, screaming well of voices. Bits of your mind swimming like black fish in a bowl. The first time I was born with this inky womb, I was a wiggling, pussing, shapeless slug. Yes. Well, it made me an angel. I will not let the demon touch me again. I'm so close now. So almost perfect. <sighs> yes, I will spare you. For now. Better yet, I'll even let you ascend and leave this place. Yeah, I'm bored with her now. Let's get out of here. Return to the lift, my little errand boy. She won't let me leave. Okay. Whoa. Do the angels bidding. Return to the lift. Okay, so we're going to go back to the lift. We're so confident about walking across planks, I jump up and down on them. That's what we do. It'd be funny if they actually slipped in. That would be insane. My machines are hungry. Gather me some spare parts. Yes, ma'am. I'll gather you some spare parts. I'll get you lots of spare parts. With my magical wrench of magicalness. Now, let us begin our work. Have you met him? The Ink Demon. I have not. He hears everything. Every creak of the floor. Every rustle of paper. I wouldn't run so fast if I were you. I'm not running at all, I'm walking. You never know what will draw him in. So I just don't like the fact she's, you know, saying that to me and... There's one. Ah, that should be plenty. Return them to me. Yeah, I... Try not to die on the way back. Do my best. There you go, Alice. Oh, I hate the swollen ones. They're just stuffed full of extra thick ink. It makes me sick. And yet, it's the perfect thing for keeping myself together. If you're gonna catch them, you'll have to learn to move quietly. Let's go and get some swollen ones. Level 11 we're going to. Shh. Be very quiet. Hunting swollen ones. Gotcha. Okay, that's one. Gotcha. Okay, we just need a little minute to heal. Gotcha. Task is done. Going this way though. Because. Yeah. Okay, so there, there was a projectionist there. <sighs> At least that's that done. I'll make this simple. Look for valve panels. Turn the little wheel. Oh god, it's a plunger. Please don't make me regret sparing you. I can always change my mind. You could, but you won't, because you're Alice Angel. Round what this one usually is when Bendy tries to come kill me. But, like I said, I don't think it's Bendy's fault because Bendy only seems to be trying to stop Alice Angel stuff. So where is it? Uh, level P. Plungers are fun. 
Wait, no, 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 I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> okay. Wow. Those hitboxes are insane. What, seriously, from there? From there? Okay, back off, 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 back off. Gotcha. Ha <laughs> ha! Fucking knew it. <laughs> yes, okay. Then it goes. More. Oh, did, why did I have to go up the way? Come on, down, down. One more. Yes, I am. This is what I'm not looking forward to, but I know just how I'm going to do this. Yeah, we're going to get an axe this time, and we've got to smash up the little Link Demon statues. But I know they, they always do. Let's go and uh, open some doors up. There are places that I couldn't go before that I can go now. Like here, for example. And I have a reason for going here. See if you look around here? There's another axe, right? So if you're playing this and you don't get... You know? You don't get the weapon you want, you can get the axe. There's also ways to get up on these as well. Which is handy. Right? Because in here is where you're going to kill a whole bunch of stuff. And they can't reach you if you're up on this. Let's have a listen to this tape though. Uh, you say, uh, the real problem, Mr. Drew, is that uh, he never actually tells us little people anything. Oh, sure. According to him, there's always big stuff coming. Adventure and fame and the like. But uh, I'm the guy, see, who has to make sure our budgets don't go all out of whack just because the genius upstairs went out and got himself another idea. Speaking of which, this is top secret. Apparently, Mr. Drew has another large project in mind now. And it ain't gonna be cheap. Hmm. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Let's see. Yep, seven left. Okay, seven left over. <laughs> Wreck the posters. Three. Two. Oh, three, sorry. One left. That's what we've been waiting for. Level nine. Bye, Bender. Oh, I'm good at finding stuff. Okay, run. Run! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, come off it. Oh crap, I died. Shit. Okay, my plan for that didn't work out there, but it's okay. We're just not gonna get the machine gun this time. Right, we'll just stand here. Yeah, come on then, butcher gang. Plop, 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 plop. Come on, gotcha. Boop, doop, doop. Boop, doop, doop. 
And they're done. Do 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 That's better, isn't it? There he goes. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. Come on. Yeah, there he goes. Done and dusted. Okay, now we can just go and get the hearts. Let's have a listen to this tape. Well, he's unconscious now. Yeah, they were writhing my hands. Tombstone picnic. Team the hobo did that. Back to level 9, let's take the hearts to her. And wait for her to betray us. Okay, here we go. Well, I just did like the entirety of chapter three without meeting Bendy once. I'm not complaining. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, we all know that's not true. Boris, next time I see you, I'm going to slap you in the face three times. One, two. Three. Oh, sorry, yeah. There we go. That's important. I know it's important. She's so creepy. Boris, quick, I'll knock you out. Boris, just fall down. Damn you, Boris. I'm trying to knock you out of here so you don't suffer. Just jump, okay? Jump up and down. Jump and smack. Jump and smack. I'm bringing them to you. Dear God's lady, whatever. This is really far down. Boing, 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 boing. Hopefully we survived that. Hopefully. Yes, Boris. Rub my cheeks. Rub my uh, face, face, cheeks. Not, not whatever you were thinking. Okay. Get behind you, Boris. Shh. Bye. And there goes Boris.